Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today we're going to discuss the XFL, the second iteration of the XFL, which is coming hopefully to a ballpark near you or a, a, a gridiron near you soon. Uh, the XFL, now if you remember, there was a previous XFL, and the previous XFL only lasted a year or two. And um, they had some really wacky, outlandish rules. They had, uh, I mean, the league was really, I mean, it was off the rails. So I'm not sure exactly why the previous one folded after only a, a season or two, but it did. And if you remember, they had they had all kinds of crazy stuff that they could do, like they could put whatever name on the back of their jersey that they wanted. Like the one guy that had He Hate Me on the back of his jersey. That was pretty crazy. So anyway, they're, they're going to try it again. Um, th now, the previous league was kind of connected to um, WWF, like, you know, wrestling. I don't know if this new one is connected to wrestling in any way or shape or form, but it still does have its crazy stuff. Um, so the, the first thing that we're going to talk about is the teams. There are eight teams in the league. <clears throat> the eight teams are the St. Louis Battlehawks. That's quite the name. The Tampa Bay Vipers. The DC Defenders, the New York Guardians, the Seattle Dragons, because we know dragons run rampant in Seattle, the Dallas Renegades, and uh, the uh, LA Wildcats, and the Houston Roughnecks. I think I got them all right. So, yeah. So, those are the eight teams. And uh, the week one schedule, the TV schedule, the, first of all, the league will run, there, there's going to be 10 weeks, 10, 10 games. And the league will run from February 8th, or the weekend of February 8th and 9th, through the weekend of um, April uh, 9th and 10th, or 8th and 9th, something like that, um, the beginning of April. That's the regular season, and then there's going to be playoffs and championships and what have you. So, so they're going to they're going to. I mean, schedule wise, I think they're doing this pretty smartly. They're going to start right after the Super Bowl, and they're going to have their probably their version of the Super Bowl, whatever that's going to be. They're going to have that probably played. Um by, you know, I don't know what the latest probably could be, but it's probably something like the end of April, which only goes one month into the baseball season, which is smart. Because I think the, um, if you, for those of you out there who are from, you know, about as old as maybe I am, and you remember the USFL, the USFL was basically a summer league that didn't last primarily because it was going um, head to head with um, the uh, with Major League Baseball in the summer and then when they wanted to go to a winter schedule to compete head to head with the NFL they took the NFL to court um, on an uh, antitrust lawsuit and they uh, lost. Well, they won. I take that back. They won, but they were only awarded a dollar, which was not enough. So this league, uh, the XFL, kind of is doing it right. They're saying we're going to start our season right after NFL ends. We're not going to go head to head. We're not going to challenge the NFL. We're going to end. We're going to start as soon as that ends. And then we're going, and we're only going to go like maybe a month into the baseball season, and then we're going to be done. 
Because if you think about it, that's the time when there's really not that much going on. There's NHL if you like hockey, but other than that, it's a, it's a pretty dead time. So that's what the XFL schedule is going to be. That's what the teams are. Uh, the first week's games are going to be Seattle at D.C. at 2 p.m. on February 8th, and then L.A. at Houston at 5 p.m. Uh, on February 8th. And then on February 9th, you're going to have Tampa Bay at New York at 2 p.m. and St. Louis at Dallas at 5 p.m. So that's the first week schedule. So uh, run out and get your XFL stuff because when the league goes under, you're going to be one of the people, you're going to want to be one of the people that has the XFL merchandise. Just like people now that have the USFL merchandise. And you can only get it on eBay now. So anyway, um, they are going to have some different rules though. And the rules were made to make the league more exciting. For one thing, if you're familiar with the NFL, it has a 40 second clock, a 40 second play clock. The XFL is going to have a 25 second play clock so that um, things keep moving and they don't have as much dead time as the NFL does. Um, their extra point uh, system is, is kind of crazy. First of all, you can't kick an extra point. That's not even an option. You have to run a play and you can choose to run a play from the two, the five, or the 10 yard line. If you run a play from the two, you will get one point. If you run a, if you score a touchdown. If you run a play from the five, you will get two points. And if you run a play from the ten, you will get three points for that. So, and again, this is um, a feature for the XFL that is intended to make the game more exciting than the NFL. And the NFL tried to make the extra point a little more exciting by moving it back further than it used to be. But um, you can still kick. You still do have that option. Um, another interesting feature is that you can possibly throw two forward passes on the same play. If you complete a pass, your initial pass, behind the line of scrimmage you can still attempt a second pass downfield past the line of scrimmage. Again, I guess trying to make the game more exciting. Uh, overtime will be five rounds, something similar to the NHL's shootout. You will start with the ball at the five yard line. Each team starts with the ball at the five yard line um, and they run a play, one play. You get one play from the five yard line to try to score a touchdown. And at the end of five rounds, the team who was able to score a touchdown more wins the game. If it's tied after five rounds, they keep going round, 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 round until kind of like the NHL, again with the shootout. They'll keep going round by round until somebody wins. Um, so that's, um, and if at some point one of the teams mathematically can't possibly catch the other team, then the game immediately ends. So, so that's a kind of, uh, that's, that's pretty much, well, I mean, that's not all the rules. You, you, if you go to the XFL's website, they have all the rules there. There are timing rules. There are rules um, that are a little different, maybe with the punting, with the kicking, the kickoffs, you know, all that stuff. But these were just a couple that I thought were kind of uh, interesting. So I will be covering the XFL. I... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do my picks for the XFL, but that would be interesting, wouldn't it? I mean, I did the NFL picks all year long, so why not do the XFL? Although, 
I don't know anything about any of the teams, so it's kind of hard to do picks, you know, when you don't know anything about any of the teams. So, um, so I, I just wanted to throw that out there, see who maybe is interested in the XFL, who might watch it, who might give it a chance. Personally, I'm going to give it a chance um, and see what, you know, just see what it's all about, see what happens. Uh, quite notably, they don't have a Chicago team. I think the previous XFL did have a Chicago team. And I also think the USFL did too. But this XFL, no. No Chicago team. That's crazy. No team in Chicago. So... We'll see how that goes. I mean, that's right there. You got to think that's a bad idea. Um, so I will do some coverage of it. I'm willing to give it a chance. I might even say that the DC Defenders are going to be my team. Quite interestingly, the my favorite team in the USFL was the Washington Federals. So yes, why don't we just go with the DC Defenders? this time and I'll even go out and maybe get myself a t-shirt a jersey something like that and then you know when the league folds in a couple of years I got some DC Defender stuff yeah so <laughs> so um, yeah I'd be interested to hear how many people out there are you know jacked for the uh, XFL to start and keep their football season going a little further. And, uh, and you know, who's going to give it a chance? If you're out there and you're saying, no, I'm not even going to bother with the XFL. I'm just going to be in baseball mode and forget football after that. Then, hey, let me know that too. I'd be interested to know that. But... I just wanted to share that with everybody and let you know that I will be, the sportsman is going to be doing coverage of the XFL now, okay? I'm covering everything. I'm covering the White Sox. I'm covering these, you know, these games, the XFL games. I'm on it. So, uh, that's all I got. So, the sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.